Hi, I'm Thomas Kuhn, the Finance Director here at SLOC. Thank you for joining another week of digital content. To stay informed about some fabulous events, fundraisers, and content we're providing this season, be sure to follow us on social media at SLOC Theater on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or visit our website at slocktheater.org for regular updates. We also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, just another way to stay connected to us. As you're watching this weekly content, we ask you to consider clicking on the donate link in this post and supporting our efforts with a tax-deductible gift. Your donation will help ensure that we can open our doors again in person when it's safe to do so. No amount is too small, and every dollar you donate is appreciated. Whether you have been in our space before or seeing us now for the very first time, we thank you for being a part of the Slack family. Schenectady Light Opera exclusive edition of Center Stage Suites. Today we are taking our inspiration from the musical that should have been opening this weekend at Schenectady Light Opera, the youth production of Cinderella, which unfortunately along with the rest of this season had to be canceled because of COVID-19. But we want to honor it today and celebrate it today with a super simple recipe that anybody can make at home in almost no time flat, a delicious pumpkin ice cream in honor of Cinderella's beautiful pumpkin carriage. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a really easy base that you can actually take and make whatever flavor of homemade ice cream that you want. And the best part about this ice cream is you don't need an ice cream maker to make it. We can simply use an electric mixer. It's a no-churn ice cream. Anybody can do this. So the base of this ice cream is 16 ounces of whipping cream. 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk and two teaspoons of vanilla. You can use that and make any kind of flavor of ice cream that you want, but today we're gonna amp it up and go full on pumpkin spice. So we start with our 16 ounces of whipping cream and we're just gonna mix this with our electric mixer on, we're gonna start on low and then slowly increase it. Cause if you start on high right away, you're just gonna end up with whipping cream everywhere, all over your face, all over your counter. So start slow and then as it, start and st as it starts to thicken, you can slowly increase the speed. Whipping cream is now whipped up and has nice soft peaks in it. That is how you know it is time to add in your sweetened condensed milk, 14 ounces. So one of the small container, standard small container. Add that right in. And it is gonna sink straight to the bottom. So you're gonna wanna make sure as you're mixing that you really get your beaters all the way to the bottom after this is incorporated. two teaspoons of vanilla extract and we're going to mix that up. All right. Now, if you stopped here, you would have absolutely delicious homemade vanilla ice cream that you could then pop in the freezer. But since we're going with pumpkin spice, now it's time to add the fun stuff. So I have one can of about 15 ounces of pumpkin puree. Um, if you do homemade pumpkin puree, great, go ahead and add that in. But um, I have gone the easy route and gone with the store-bought, which is absolutely fine. All right, and then for our spices, we have two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and about a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And we're just gonna whip that all together. Cream mixture. As you can see, it's kind of more of um, 
a yellowy brownish in color. If you wanted that really kind of orangey look for your pumpkin ice cream, you can absolutely add in a couple of drops of food coloring to make that happen. But I like to leave it as is, no need for extra dyes and colors. So that's our ice cream. Now we're gonna pop it into the freezer. And the way I like to get it in the freezer, the easiest way for me is to use a bread pan. It fits the whole mixture perfectly and uh, it fits in the freezer pretty easily. So we're just gonna drop this in. There's no need to like spray it with cooking spray or anything like that. You just plop your ice cream right in. Nice and smoothed out on top. And that look beautiful. And when you're adding, when you're putting your cling wrap on top of it, you wanna make sure you really smooth it across the top. It's gonna to help prevent freezer burn. So, of course, cling wrap is always super easy to work with. All right, so I'm just gonna lay it across the top. And I like to, starting from one side, working to the other, just kind of gently move it across, trying to help get rid of any air bubbles that might be in there. Again, it's all about trying to prevent that freezer burn. All right, that looks good. And it might not be perfect, but it's all right. So this is just gonna go into the freezer for about four hours and then it'll be ready to serve. Our ice cream has set in the freezer for at least four hours, which means it is ready to serve. So you just pull back the film on it and let's scoop it up. Oh, that is beautiful. A little stuck to the spoon here, but. You can see it's really like, it's almost like a partway between a hard and a soft serve ice cream. If you were to leave it in overnight, it does get super hard. So if you do, um, let's say you make it one night to serve it the next day, you'll just wanna take it out a few minutes before you're ready to scoop it, just to let it um, soften just enough that you can get the scoop through it. But it's absolutely delicious, super tasty. If you're a pumpkin lover, this is definitely the ice cream for you. If you enjoyed this recipe today, be sure to keep following Slock for all of their content and follow us at Center Stage Sweets on Instagram and Facebook. And if you really enjoyed it, we hope you can consider making a small donation to Schenectady Light Opera. Unfortunately, since they've had to close down the theater for this season, they need all of the help that they can get to make sure that they can reopen and hopefully put on a show like Cinderella with the Youth next season. So please consider supporting today. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.